Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangs, and I welcome you to part 5 of Let's Play The Last Promise. A little bit sick today, so I apologize if I sound slightly different. Anyway, felt like doing some Last Promise right now. And we are entering Chapter 4, Tides of Greed. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Dum -da -da. Bum -ba -da. Lord Siegfried, we are all getting closer to Fora. By the end of the day, you'll surely be kindly greeted. Well, thank you so much for your assistance, Sir Galagar. Besides helping us bolster our army, you have brought us to someone we hope will be an ally. There must be a way to repay you. There is no reason to be thanking me. After all, you were the one who rescued us. Consider it our way to repay you. Well, if that's what you wish, now let's continue on. I apologize for my abrupt timing, however. I'm afraid this is where we part ways. I have to leave Yulia to meet up with someone. Or leave to Yulia. Also, I have to, I had I heard that the Emperor's former boarding bodyguard, now a general of Magnus, has been moving around Athea and Valencia with his men. They say that he is second in leadership only to the three Imperial Generals. Apparently, while the Imperial Generals are fighting against Blaine to the southeast and tying loose ends, this general is maintaining the Magnian domination over Valencia. Hmm, that sounds quite frightening. Perhaps we'll see you at Julia. When we go to retake it. Meh. <laughs> Stay alive, Galagar. I appreciate your concern, but you needn't worry. Oh, and another thing you might want to know before I leave? The, for the Forens have gone all out to resist Magnus' invasion, but many other tribe leaders are in fact supporting Magnus. The uncertainty over this is going to be hard to overcome. I heard that Gorn in particular has completely sided with Magnus. They may prove to put actions to their feelings. Hmm, it's a lot of mentioning of my name here. Ooh, look at that girl. She was kind of odd looking. Now that you say the rebel armies... <laughs> no, 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 not another Heather voice. Now you said the rebel army is coming up here to contact Fora? Bah, you aren't much of a speaker, Sir Kevin. Why did I send you anyways? I'm a knight too. I and these plainsmen can handle a pesky bunch of ragtags. You know who this guy reminds me of? He reminds me of that knight in Awakening that nobody notices. Sir Kellen or something? Isn't that his name? Hmm. I just, just noticed, he really reminds me of that guy. I will send her to keep an eye on you and the nomads. I don't care what voice I gave him before, that's his new voice. To make sure that no one betrays Magnus. Ha! Betray Magnus? You forget their honor, or rather, the lack of it. As long as the Gorn tribe gets paid, they can be manipulated to do whatever we want them to. Oh. Sheriff boy, I will personally be firing the first arrow right at their leader. Now go notify the others. Yes, lady. Ah, my goodness, that knight is ugly. Did General Howard send him just to contrast with my beauty? Oh, great, we got a self-absorbed uh, enemy here. Blast! It's getting dark already. Just a little more and we'll be in safe grounds. This isn't good. At this rate, it'll take well until the night. I'm pretty tired, too. Yeah, the new, the new recruits don't seem to be very mobile. Their time in prison probably exhausted them mentally and physically. Regardless, we have to press on. Something wrong? No, I thought I heard the sound of a ballista. Oi, watch out! What? Gah, an arrow! It looked like the kind of arrows the nomads use. Keep alert, everyone! This darkness makes it harder for us to see them. It will prove much more difficult to fight. Oh! It's darkness! But it doesn't really look like it's dark! Come to think of it, I mean, it's, it has like the... Normally, when it's darkness, uh, you kind of use the night sprite where the plane is like blue. And uh, maybe a music that actually, you know, inspires darkness. You know, the darkness sound in Fire Emblem. You know, the... Um, just, just give me a second. Now this is how, <laughs> how you make a night level sound, okay? Like, I know that this game may want to use its own music, but at least make a music that makes me feel like it's night. I mean, it's bad enough that the level looks like it's in bright, bright, like bright daylight with Fog of War on it. But uh, you should at least add some night music to it. I mean, I don't really get the vibe here at all. And setting these, like, the uh, feel of the level is very important, you know. 
when uh, you get ambushed in the middle of the night in the Merlinus level in Fire Emblem 7, uh, you kind of get the feeling that it's night, you know, you don't see anything around you, you're surrounded by enemies. This doesn't feel like a night level at all. So I just felt like adding this night music just to prove my points. So, we're probably going to be using the normal music though. Alright, so, just turning the normal music back on again. Not that I don't... I, I like this music, I just don't think it's fitting for this level at all. Anyway, I think I got a torch last level, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Um, so let's use that for something, shall we? Let's use it on the Pegasus Knight. Uh, Alright, there's a lot of nomads here, so we gotta be very careful. But I wonder if the piercing sword, yeah, it is effective against nomads. Wow, they don't have any hit points at all. 15 hit points, seriously? What level are these guys? They're level 1? My god, look at these crappy stats. Holy shit. These guys are really bad. Like, really bad. Why do you send such a... Why do you send so wussy enemies at me, game? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna own them then. I think for Corbin, he is now level 5. Hit point, strength, speed, and luck. My my units seem to have really good growths. Um, I don't really, I haven't really gotten a single bad level ups on my characters. Uh, at least not that I know of. Oh, what's going on here? Knight! When are said stupid reinforcements you promised to me coming? They're on their way. That's not very reassuring. Ah, it doesn't matter. With Mungnians like myself on our side, we can't lose. Try to encircle the rebels and fire as you will. I've been told they have a Pegasus Knight amongst them. If you see her, try to shoot her down first. Pegasus Knights are always so gorgeous. I always wanted to snipe one of them. The feather of a Pegasus would go so well in both my hair. Well, at least they're, they make the villain funny. But, uh, yeah, Magni with Magnus like yourself on this team. I don't know, these, these guys are from Gorn, I think. But I like the enemy night music. That's kind of cool. You know, the bum, 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 bum. At least, uh, at least this level got some part of the music, right? Now, this sounds like a proper night music. Okay. I'm sorry, but these these enemies are just so horribly bad. I'm not even. I don't even feel threatened by them. I mean, seriously, Sean one shots them with his piercing sword. I don't even think I need to. No, I don't even need to use my piercing sword against these guys. I can kill them just fine with an iron sword. All right, let's go heal up Siegfried, shall we? Level up! Uh, Tamiko, hit points, magic, and speed. She keeps leveling up pretty well. I do like it when my clerics get a lot of magic. There's nothing worse than a cleric that can't top off her uh, allies. Sarah usually, whenever I play Fire Emblem 7, I usually get screwed um, uh, when it comes to Sarah's magic. And I do like Sarah, so I try to... I don't get any experience from these guys whatsoever. It's pretty pathetic. Uh, I even double them with a lance. What the hell, man? How slow are these guys? Well, they are wielding steel bows, I guess, and uh, I take it that, uh, unlike in the Sacred Dawn, the, the weight of the weapons have not been reduced. Uh, short bow is still pretty light. Um, yeah. I'm kind of a little bit afraid to use uh, Inanna here, considering there's Pegasi here. Or, sorry, <laughs> considering there are Nomads here, so I'm actually not going to do that. Always very, very scared to use a Pegasus Knight in a Fog of War level. Oh, more dialogue? Arg, we aren't dealing enough damage to their men! This isn't good. Lady, you must alter your strategy. If you fail, Magnus will have no use for you. No, that can't happen! Ah, uh, fire harder, archers! Sir Kevin, why don't you go out there and fight? I need help, and I'd rather not have my fingernails ruined just yet. Besides, who else will command the fray? Fine. 
Haha! <laughs> I've knocked out two birds with one stone! Rid ourselves of the rebels and this annoying knight! Only I, the beautiful Ada, can be the ones to earn glory! I guess, I guess the knight is on the table now. Uh, he sounds like a character that's going to join my party. So, uh, I'm probably gonna go try to talk to him with Siegfried or something. I don't know, I just get the vibe that he's not gonna be an enemy. Okay, well... Uh, this seems to be like a, uh... This, this doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Oh, there are enemies here, actually. Let's go kill this guy. Aw, oh, I'm not doubling him? How about if I use... <laughs> Uh, using the new thing to kill a nomad, but I, did, I don't want him to go and kill Tomiko, so... We do need to go st and stock up on this armory, though, because our weapons are only dangerously low. And I kind of want to go visit this house, just for lols. There we go. This should take him down. Unless I miss, though. I really hope I don't. What the hell?! So short post can attack in melee here? Well, that would have been helpful to know. Strength, skill, speed, luck. Wow, those amazing level up continues. Okay, okay, so I know now the short bow can be used in my. Ooh, critical. Okay. Well, I'll keep my. I'll keep uh, my eyes out for the short bows then. Just placing uh, Mr. Shuda here so that my Pegasus uh, won't get killed. Oh, here he comes. I'm guessing I need to go talk to him with Siegfried though. So I should probably just stay clear of him for now. Yeah, I definitely don't want to kill him. I can always just... Oh my god, these guys are so wussy! Look at their hit points! Holy shit, why are they so weak? i never seen hit points bars that short before. And here comes some reinforcements. Um, okay, so here, here's this guy. Yeah, he's definitely a recruitable character. Else they wouldn't be giving him a blue gem. Um, <laughs> a younger sibling in a noble family. And a klutz. Um... He seems like a pretty average armor knight to me, to be quite honest. Decent defense. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if any of these guys can talk to him. I don't think they can. Nope. Uh, nope. So we'll just pull back for now. Uh, go visit the house because they may have some useful information here. Hey, have you, haven't you ever heard of knocking? Shoo, shoo, get off my damn property. Oh, thank you, useless old man. My god, I hate it when people put houses like that just to troll me. If there's a house, there better be someone telling me something useful in it, okay? Why else you put a house there? Hmm, so you're fighting in this deep fog, you say? If that's the case, you should try and avoid major conflicts. If you follow the river up north, perhaps you can cross the river. Would you know of how we could cross the river, sir? There's no bridge, so I believe you'd have to fly over it. After that, you could probably ambush the enemy. That's up to you, not me. Well, I can fly over it. Thanks for that advice, I guess. Okay. So it seems like the reinforcements... I'm not I'm not sure if it... I, it's probably Siegfried who's, who's going to talk to him, not Sean. Sean's just stupid anyway, so... Well, I'll keep using the... I can just keep... Uh, no, that won't be enough. We'll have to use the piercing sword. That's fine. We've, we've hardly used it anyway, so... Alright. How how are the stats on that sword anyway? I kinda of forgotten to check. It I'm guessing it's like a rapier. Alright. Um guess I'm gonna go kill this guy then. Mm, actually I wanna go and buy a, a lance. What, really? Huh? I never heard the music in the armory before. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sounds like a convenience store. Welcome to uh, Javelins and Hammers. What can I do for you today? Okay, well. Wow, elixirs are worth a lot. Should probably give one away. Well, okay, so I can only buy swords in that shop. It's a sword shop only. Um, I guess I'll just take that man's advice and ambush the guy with shoot up. I also want to go and sell the, um, the gem. We guess we better go talk to this knight. Here he comes. And some reinforcements. Well, there's a mercenary over here that I can kill. Hmm, I'll just wait here for Kevin to, to arrive. Oh, a guy appeared. Oh, a longbow. Okay. 
That's fine. Longbows are pretty crappy anyway. Especially in the hands of these guys. Where are you, knights? Did you suddenly decide to stop showing yourself? No, I don't want to move forward because that will kill him. Well, actually, if I equip my um, sword with one use left on it, then maybe that won't kill him. Sigrid is pretty powerful, so I need to be a little bit careful. Well, wow, this is going to be a very stale fight. These guys hardly do any damage to each other. Oh, I level up for Sean again. He's gonna get hit points and resistance. Pretty crappy level, but I always like leveling resistance. So I gotta be a little bit careful about this guy, considering he has a longbow. Um, fly up here. I should probably be able to drop off shoot at the house there. Although that could be scary, because I don't know what kind of enemies there are there. Alright. Don't kill him, Siegfried. I don't think you'll be able to, but still, be careful. Alright. Broke my iron sword, that's fine. And again, most boring fight ever. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Oh my god. Alright, let's we'll see if we can talk to him now. Yes, we can. Huh? Yeah, hmm. You knights, why are you so sullen? Raise your lance. I will not fight an unprepared enemy. It is not honorable. Why do you even fight? Do you really think you can defeat Magnus? There is no hope, none at all. You will end up hurting yourself. Watch. What? Don't insult me so. Our rebellion fights for the sake of humanity. Freedom! Trivialities to ourselves does not matter. You mean you're not in this for personal gain? No glory? Ha ha ha! What's so funny? All I've known so far are arrogant fools who only believe in themselves. In their, If their life is in danger, they would not hesitate to flee. Yet you say that you don't care what happens to yourself. So very pretentious. Ha! <laughs> what an odd man! He would speak of ideals, but don't fight for them? I have no desire in killing someone like you. Leave the field or rush back to your commander. The enemy leader, her name is Ada. She is quite arrogant of herself and very likely to underestimate you. For all your worth, she will be a simple foe. Wait, wait! What is it? I'm following your command and leaving the field. Why would you betray your own forces? By relaying information about them to me. I no longer hold any attachment to them. What Magnus is making its soldiers do is despicable. I did not think war would be so... brutal. Hold one moment. Since you are so... skilled at following orders, are you willing to listen once more? Say no more. I shall take the front. <laughs> what a strange man. Yet I feel like there is much more to him than what appears. Well, that was easy. So now we have an armor knight. Okay. Here's a blue gun. Sig Sig Sigrid. Oh my god, I can't say, stop saying Sigrid. Uh, okay, well, shoot out. Here we go. Oh crap. Uh, balls. Well, I don't think the longbow can kill her anyway, but that was a little bit stupid of me. Anyway, I need to go heal. I also think I need to turn on the animation because they start off, yeah. They start off having no animations. There we go. Well, that guy is now on our team. That sounds cool. I like armor knights. <sighs> Will we ever be able to do anything here? There we go. Wow. Okay. They do zero damage to Shuda. Like, zero damage. That's that's normal when it comes to armor. Okay, this guy does some damage, but he is wielding an iron blade, so he can't hit for shits. He's probably gonna get double as well, yeah. Okay. So I'm guessing Shuda's just going to own all of those. Oh, I might be able to kill him next turn, actually. Nope, 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 I won't. That just sounded too good to be true. Yay! Weapon level increased! Oh, more Myrmidons. There's also a Ballista up there, but he hasn't done anything yet. Well, down he goes. He was stupid enough to build the sword, Steel Sword. Oh, there are a lot of enemies right here. 
Maybe I should have dropped up someone with a ranged weapon. Hmm. Oh, oh, there, there are a lot. Wow. He has eight. Oh, he has eight percent critical. That's not cool at all. That is not cool. Hmm. And more reinforcements, it would appear. So I'm actually gonna. Um, all right, I can't rescue this guy. How can you choose this guy? Fourteen constitution, really? Why is Siegfried's eight so low? Why does Siegfried have thirteen eight, whereas Corbin has fifteen? I don't get this. Why is that? Siegfried has more constitution than Corbin, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, he does. He's two points more. I don't get that at all. Someone please explain that to me. It's like Siegfried doesn't like helping others. Is that is that how it is? What a douchebag he is. He's like, no, I don't want to help you. No one sits on my horse. My horse is for me. All right, so uh, Shuda is busy getting bombarded by archers. I'm probably going to quaff a vulnerary right here because that guy had a critical on me. Can Pegasus use swords in this game? No, they can't. Um, blech. um, I guess I'll use a torch just to get some more vision. That didn't really help at all. But, um, I'm guessing, because that guy's just getting healed. Well, fuck you. It's a great experience for Shuda, though, at least. Oh! Totally unnecessary critical. Gotta love those. So, a ding up for Shuda, you are now level 5, and you got hit points. Wonderful, and an etching the level up. So, they do happen in this game as well. Well, finally, we'll get to kill this guy. Woo! Probably some. <laughs> just another one will appear, I guess. Well, that felt good. But yeah, this is just going to be very, very annoying, I think. They're just gonna bombard Shuda with arrows. Ah, oh, seriously? I don't like that 8% critical they got there. That that really does not make me feel good at all. Ugh. Because I know it's going to happen at one point. Holy shit! How many nomads are there here? Yeah, I think I'm going to get shoot out of there, actually. They're really low level and they're really crappy, but there's so many of them. Alright. Time to get out of there. Kimmy. Kimmy. Yeah, that's, that's that's it. All right, so I'm gonna drop off the fat knights. Um, do you have a javelin? Ah. Well, maybe there's something over here. Probably not though. Yay! Now we can go and heal up Sean of the Forge. And uh, I kind of want to go and sell some stuff, I guess. Oh, are we gonna shoot on Kevin now? That's not gonna go well. I don't think any of these guys have the might to get through his defense, actually. Like, not at all. And doubling nomads with javelins. You know they're really fucking slow when you double them with javelins. It's a very satisfying sound, though. Must admit. <sighs> Long bows. <sighs> there we go. Alright, so while Sean is busy getting healed up at the forge, I'm guessing we're just gonna try to take out as many nomads as we can. So where are you, Corbin? There we go. Uh, well, I'm doubling these guys with a fucking lance, so it shouldn't be too hard. All oh, right, I always get amazed by that. Holy shit, that looks so weird. But I kind of guess, I guess it makes the short ball a lot better than it usually is. Hit points, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Uh, usually the uh, short ball is a pretty crappy weapon, in my opinion. Oh crap, we really need a sword, like badly. Um, you know, I think I'll visit the shop with Siegfried, sell some stuff, and. Uh, then come back with the sword. I'm not gonna use my new thing on the <laughs> on these guys. <laughs> that sounds like a big waste. Well, wow, Kevin is actually doubling these guys as well. Well, that guy had a longbow though. 
I guess he can thank himself for that. Alright, are we done with the reinforcements now? Or Oh, that's a Magnion, by the way. Cool. Are these guys Magnion as well? No, that's a Gorn guy. So the Magnions are the archers and the Gorn are the... They're basically the socket people. And the Magnions are like the burn people. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they are. Actually, you know, I shouldn't be giving uh, Siegfried the gems. I should be giving the Pegasus Knights the gem. She can get there much quicker. Oh, laggy, laggy, laggy. Go do some shopping, will you? There we go. Uh, Sean, he's doing well. Let's go kill this archer, shall we? Oh my god, Shuda! You're like the new Abel. You do unnecessary criticals all the time. That's like two. Well, fuck chance, right? Can't... Ah, am I breathing in? Can you guys hear that? I think you can. Gotta watch where I put my microphone. There we go. I like have a windshield here, but I definitely think you guys could hear me breathe into the microphone there, so I need to be a little bit cautious where I position it. But it should be much better now, so... Oh my god, frame spikes again. Alright, so more Magnions. Oh, that's a ballista, but it doesn't appear to be an archer in it. That's kind of interesting. What's up with that? Is it like an unmanned ballista? Oh no, there we go. Oh no, it's firing at Kevin, and it disappeared for some reason. What's up with that? So I could see it. Oh, Corbin is actually taking some damage. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, not cool. Where's our healer? All right, Sean's still healing up there. Uh, there she is, just standing over there. Uh, let's go back and get some healing, shall we? I don't know where he suddenly took that damage from. Anyway, uh, that's one dead guy. Ah, stupid short bows. Keep forgetting that. I really need to get used to that. In my head, attacking an archer in melee is always a good thing. Anyway, let's sell some stuff, shall we? At quick a march. And buy some swords. I'm guessing two swords will suffice. And then we need to... I don't like using the new thing, but I kind of feel like I have to get rid of some nomads right here. Because there are actually a lot of them. There we go. And I'm thinking Kevin should be able to kill this guy. Ah, no, actually not. I'm guessing he can't double archers. Wow, what's up with these frame spikes? I seriously need to find out what's up with that. Because that's really annoying. Alright. Well, they keep going for Shuda. That's actually not cool at all. Oh, oh well. Um, okay, there's no more guys here, so we're good. Oh, Sean's finally ready to go. Maybe I'll just pick him up. I might just do that. If I can do that, though. Yeah, he has no constitution at all. Seven constitution, how are... Oh my god, Sean is such a wuss. He's not big at all. Okay. Can you guys hear that? Seriously, why am I suddenly breathing into the microphone? I don't like that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> More fries. <laughs> ah, that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna minimize this shit. Alright, did a good old Fraps restart. That should help things. Alright. So, let's kill this archer, shall we? And go for the boss. Where is she, by the way? Is she up here? Or is she up here? There she is. Oh, she's an archer. Okay, I was sure she was some sort of nomad. Uh, can I get her to join me? Nah, she has zero luck. That is, that's a dead giveaway. Um, this is how you basically spot if someone is recruitable or not. Is you, what, you look at their luck. And if their luck is zero, she's not gonna join you. Oh yes, the enemy leader. She's been terrorizing our homes around here lately. They call her Lady Ada. But if you ask me, she's just a self-absorbed girl with greedy motives. Well, okay. These houses are less uh, viable than the houses in, uh, or less useful than the houses from Fire Emblem 1. And that's saying a lot. Okay, so she has a short bow, meaning she's gonna be able to attack. I don't like that. 
So uh, I'm not going to attack her with shoot on until I get some healing. There we go. I'm ge Oh, I'm guessing maybe there's a funny conversation with Kevin if he attacks her. Uh, she's... Oh, that's not cool. However, I'm good because there's no way... Even if she gets a double critical on me, I'll still survive. What? What? Knight? You dare turn on us? Retreat your soldiers. There's no reason to fight any longer. Ha! Huh. If I'd been double-crossed by a fellow knight, there are no, these nomads have no chance with their pathetic trust and honor. I'd rather take you down with me than retreat. Okay. Well, she's actually kind of scary with her critical and all that good stuff. Um... And yeah, the ballista's still firing at me. But uh, yeah, Kevin's not really gonna have a chance against her. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to, gonna have to use Shuda and Corbin. Maybe even Sean. There we go. I'm getting a uh, good experience for this. Is it 14 experience per heal? Hit points, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Not bad. Okay, Corbin. Uh, or maybe even Siegfried. No, actually, I don't know what I want Siegfried to do. I need him to get a sword. There we go. Let's see how Corbin fares against these, this gal. Uh, not too shabby, actually. Uh, but I feel like it's not good enough. I kind of need to surround her and attack her from all fronts, I feel. Alright, we'll try. Maybe Shuda will be able to do something against her. Ouch! Oh my god! Seriously, this 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 gal is actually kind of tough. Yeah, uh, Sean also needs a um, it's a sword. Crap! Huh? Wow. Okay, she's actually very scary. Um, but I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to go and attack her. I don't like this, but I there I really got no choice. Ugh. Well, I'm guessing it's a good thing that short bows can attack into melee, or else this archer boss would really have been a big joke. Ah, <sighs> I don't like this. She can retaliate on me and do a lot of damage. Um, but I okay, three percent. Death to the enemies of Magnus! There we go. Uh, she's gonna be very tough to bring down, actually. Come to think of it. Uh, how about uh, the emblem lance? Oh no no no! Not going not going into combat with the Pegasus Knight. No sir, not gonna do that. Um, yeah, she's on a fort as well, which means she's gonna heal and get increased defense and avoidance and all that good stuff. So yeah, but I guess we'll they will eventually be able to bring her down, I suppose. Uh, ah, this is scary. Yeah, I'm not taking this chance at all. Hmm. She also has elixirs on her, which she probably will use. And the ballista's firing on Sean. It's not doing any damage, though. So we're good. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to keep attacking her, hoping she doesn't get a lucky critical on me. It might happen, though. And if it does, I'm gonna die. I hate it though. I really don't like this at all. But I think I might be able to kill her now. Ow! Come on, please hit her. Please hit her. Ah! Okay. What does it say, by the way, when you... Okay, so the range does say 1 to 2, so it, it does tell you that it can't be used in, in combat. Well, that this might finish her off. Ooh! Nice one, Sean! Drat! You beat me! How could this be? Well, maybe because you're more obsessed about your hair than actually being a good archer. Well, Mr. Gallant's got hit points and skill. Kinda crappy, actually, come to think about it. And another elixir? Seriously, we don't need more elixirs. Ah, uh, she's alive? D damn it! I failed! Worthless Athean archers! What pitiful men! To the very end! You must be the leader here, am I right? Ah, let me be, then. What, what are you doing? I'm binding your hands and feet. You are now a prisoner to us. No, no, you can't treat a lady this way. Especially a beautiful lady such as myself. 
<sighs> How annoying. Tamiko, can you take this girl away? Sir? This lady keeps screaming, and it's a pain to listen to. Just take her far enough that I can't hear her. Heal her wounds. And make sure you keep her tied. I'd like to get some information out of our prisoner. As soon as she's ready to say something meaningful... Okay, sir. Now you. Your name is Kevin, right? Correct? Yes. You seem... Uh... Something. Sorry, I skipped that. Than that girl. I thank you for cooperating with us, Kevin. Now, what is this force... Now, what is this force was meant to do? I totally butched that sentence. <laughs> that other night and I were deployed to watch over the tribes that had deflected to Magnus. I see. Although you originally fought against us, you have proven yourself trustworthy. Where are you to go from here? I would like to accompany you, sir. With this action, I would be branded a traitor. I see then. Well met, Kevin. It appears our rebellion has gained you yet another powerful soldier. Hmm. Seeing as that annoying girl from before has shut up, I suppose we may begin the interrogation. What did you say her name was? Uh, she's called Ada, sir, and is quite self-absorbed. However, the Great General believed she could be useful in regards to the war. The Great General? Who is he? The Great General Landmark is in, chance, is in charge of knighting people, although he himself only chooses the people that are worthy. Okay, then. I think I get it. So Ada is technically on the level of a knight. That's news. Tamiko! Here she is! Hey, you're not going to speak up now, eh? Stop! Let me free of these binds! I will not tell you anything! Look, Lady Ada, you can do this. You can do as you please after giving us the information you have. Why has some of Athea joined Magnus? And what is Magnus' intent? I was told that if the Atheans were to fight amongst each other, they would be even easier to conquer. With the mining in the western archipelago, I can never pronounce that correctly. We have enough money to bribe them. Ha! What idiots! Ah! Uh, if that's all, you can go. F you can go free. But hear me. You must take an oath to never fight against my men again. If not, I will kill you right here, right now, on the spot. Ah! I. Okay. I'm sorry. Sir, that was really harsh. I suppose. She should be thankful I didn't kill her immediately. Many armies have done such a thing to their prisoners. But I'd rather not kill her if she's not a threat. There's never not enough death. Well, Siegfried can be a badass if he wants to. Alright, so this level, this level. As you might have understood, I had some issues with this level. I don't really want to repeat myself anymore. I've already said what I meant about the night thingy. The aesthetics needs to be improved drastically. The skin needs to be rechanged. Add some more nighty music and make it appear more nighty. Um, it, this chapter was very weird because it kind of it was so easy that I started playing recklessly and that almost got me killed. Uh, there were a lot of nomads. However, they were really low level. Like seriously, the enemy are really weak. And then I the boss is ridiculously hard. But not difficult in such a way that it's difficult for me to kill her. It's just that it's a big risk, you know, because she has that 10% critical that might one-shot my guys. You know, it's not the kind of boss I really like, but... Um, so I kind of didn't really like this level all that much, to be quite honest. I got a little bit disconnected from it, and uh, I hope that didn't leak out into my commentary and made this video boring. If that's the case, then I'm sorry. Uh, but when I don't get challenged, I get disconnected from my, from the Fire Emblem game, and I don't get engaged um, at all. Uh, it's just the way I am. I live for the challenge in every video game I play. So if there's no challenge there, then I really lose the interest in it. So I hope that this game is going to pick up on its difficulty, because uh, so far I am not really... You know, it's chapter 4 now, so there's really no excuse to go easy on me anymore, I feel. I feel like... The first or second and maybe the third chapter can be very bland and... Very, like, not very bland, but... The, fir the first three chapters can be easy. But after chapter four and, and beyond that, you should ramp up the challenge. Uh, now, there isn't, as far as I remember, I don't think there was a hard mode. Uh, I don't remember selecting a hard mode, but if, if it's not, then it should... It desperately needs one. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Anyway, enough, uh, enough ranting. Um, I'm still enjoying this hack, even though I didn't like this level. It seems like a good, solid hack. The dialogue is not bad at all. So, uh, my name is Ben Mangs. I hope you guys enjoyed this patch, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.